It's the second race of the eliminator round at Texas Motor Speedway as the Sprint Cup Series gets ready to tackle the AAA Texas 500. First two rows are made up with chase drivers, Brad Kozlowski, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, and Joey Logano. Fans on their feet as they come through the restart zone. The green flag is in the air. We're racing at Texas. Brad Kozlowski was your Coors Light pole sitter with Kevin Harvick starting to his outside. Kozlowski, who was your Xfinity Series winner Saturday, checked out on the field as soon as the green flag dropped. Ten laps into the race, Kozlowski's teammate Joey Logano, who needed a good run after last weekend in Martinsville, had his luck turn south fast. Logano blew a tire and he spins his 22 Ford out in turn three. His car suffered heavy damage as Logano had to go to the garage and ended up finishing 40. Later, we saw one of the four JGR cars in the garage as Denny Hamlin had early trouble with a fuel pressure issue. Lap 36, Kevin Harvick, who was running second, has a left rear tire go down. He made it onto pit road before that tire could damage any bodywork. That brought out the caution, and the defending NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champion was able to stay on the lead lap. Those were two of the numerous tire issues that plagued drivers all day long, as several drivers fought flats on the left rear and front right corners of their car. Right around the halfway point in the race, Dale Earnhardt Jr. found himself pointed in the wrong direction. Jr. suffered damage on an earlier restart where he got into the wall, and the damage finally caught up with him. More trouble for Kevin Harvick late in the race. He had an issue with his car staying in gear, and as a result, he had to drive the back half of the race with only one hand on the shifter and one hand on the wheel. Unfortunately for the four team, he had another tire issue, and this time it's the right rear with just over 50 laps to go. This will be the second today. The left rear looks to be up this time. Potentially the right rear the issue. Harvick had to come to pit road for four fresh tires. After his stop, he was one lap down in 21st. With 25 laps left in the race, the caution flag flew for debris on the racetrack, and that was a huge break for Harvick. Before the yellow, they cycled back around on the lead lap, and on the final restart, he started sixth. On that restart, Brad Keselowski held off Martin Truex Jr., but Kez couldn't hold off six-time series champion Jimmy Johnson. Has the preferred line now to the bottom of the track. Can he complete the pass? He does. Jimmy Johnson in front of Texas. Johnson goes on to win the AAA Texas 500, making it his third in a row at Texas Motor Speedway. I wish we would have found a way to win a few more times this year. It's been a long, dry summer, so uh, glad that I found the cape. It wasn't too dusty and, and too far away. Next weekend, the series heads to Phoenix International Raceway, and that's where we will set the championship four, and that will be decided the next weekend at Homestead. For NASCAR.com, I'm Jonathan Merriman.